afternoon, everyone, and thank you for inviting me to the Woodstock of clean energy. Uh, I don't think I've ever been to a conference with the diversity of clean energy and sustainability activities and companies that I see here today. We got here through a partnership on research and development and demonstration. It's a pipeline. It's a pipeline with inventors, with universities, with laboratories, and with many federal agencies, starting with the U.S. Department of Energy. And it is about jobs. There are so many jobs that are going to be created as offshoots from the technology and science that, that develops from all of your hard work. What we do when we encourage this sort of mix in our energy outcomes is grow jobs, American jobs, that allow us to embrace the intellectual capacity of this nation and put the products on the shelf that will enable us to be more efficient in how we use our energy supplies or enable us to do renewable out outputs. The global clean energy investment uh, is now at $269 billion, uh, five times greater than it was in 2004. One of the things that I'd also like to say when it comes to this particular caucus, the members of Congress bipartisan, is that this is, in my opinion, where the Sierra Club meets the Chamber of Commerce and they walk toward each other, not in animus, but in friendship and collaboration, and they shake hands and say, on this one, brothers and sisters, we are together. So we're here today to talk to folks on the Hill about um, policies that can help improve the efficiency of industrial processes. Uh, specifically, there are a few tax items that we're looking at, um, things that could be incorporated into comprehensive tax reform that would really help promote industrial energy efficiency in the U.S. We're excited to be here. We're a company that's all about sustainability, meeting profitability. High-speed rail will deliver a whole new layer of mobility for America. It will decongest our roads and airports. It'll save a lot of energy, it'll revitalize our cities, and it'll give us a new option to get around quickly and easily without the hassles we now suffer through with aviation and our highways. So. With available financing, we can build larger plants, more efficient, and with more storage. ABO is promoting the, uh, promoting the knowledge of and the, the continued research of biofuels, and their ultimate goal is commercialization of the process, so it becomes less of a science project and more of a viable fuel source for the United States. We're just looking to promote the industry through a federal, federal level, on a state level, putting in organic waste plants in various different states. We're interested in the Farm Bill and the energy, energy title and uh, mandatory funding for it. In September of 2012, Ocean Renewable Power Company in Eastport and Lubeck, Maine, started pumping electrons into the grid and getting paid for it. It means that they're the first offshore renewable energy project or technology in the United States that's actually commercially producing electricity for the grid. And what's even more exciting about that, not to make a bad pun, but they are generating an additional stream of revenue through the sale of renewable energy credits, which are the environmental attributes associated with the renewable energy 